Welcome to the Spidey Daniel Real Estate Video Blog. Today's guest is Patricia Chavez from Pacific Funding Group. And our topic is a real estate question from one of our viewers. So let's get started. So our first question is from Linda. And her question is, is it possible to secure a home loan with one person using a VA benefits and the other using a traditional type of loan? That is actually not possible. When you're applying for a VA loan, the only person allowed on the loan besides the vet is a spouse. So unless you're married, you won't be able to apply jointly. Okay, so would they have to like either do straight VA or do straight conventional, but they, they could have not to do VA, however, they okay. could do a conventional loan and in that case they would be able to, to apply combine jointly. together. Okay. Mm -hmm. The next question is, um, are there any individual programs that are available for a move-up buyer if they want to get a second home? There aren't any special programs for that scenario. However, buyers have many options as to how they can proceed. You can either sell your current home and order pull proceeds from the sale of the house and have a down payment, or you could actually rent your current home and use rental income to qualify in the application. Okay, sounds good. So the last question she has is, can you give me, provide me a list of best lending institutions that will give ease and great access as far as doing a loan? So this particular question is near and dear to my heart because Patricia just closed the deal for me. And uh, with that being said, I really don't think it's the institution that's important, I think it's the lender, the actual person putting your loan together. Um, that person is going to be the one that's going to package up everything and give it to the underwriter. So if they do not do everything they need to do, when it gets to the underwriter, when they're making the final decision to give you the money, if there's any problems, that is when you're going to find out. So it's very important for the person, the actual lender, who's actually processing, that is the key. So you can pick Wells Fargo, B of A, any, any institution that's out there. Who is the person actually processing the loan? That is the key item if you want a smooth transition. I just did a transaction, she did our personal loan. It was just, everything was perfect. And only because I feel as though she was very clear on what the process would need to look like and she made sure everything was perfect. So when we got to the underwriter, we did not have that stressful, stressful situation at the end where there were things that weren't caught in the beginning. And if, do you want to add to that? <laughs> well, I think part of my approach when it comes to lending is that I try to address all of the issues up front so that once your file goes to processing and is being underwritten, I want to make the process as smooth and painless as possible. And typically, I like to ask for a lot of the documentation up front so that once your loan is approved, we're pretty much done. And, it, you know, I'm pretty sure you've heard from your friends or family members when they were buying a home that it, they, it was a horrible situation. And typically it's because they did not do what she actually said she does. And so that's the most important thing. When you're looking for a um, lender, you know, you want to make sure this person is coming out of referral basis and you want to make sure that, um, that they can get the job done to the end. Okay, so thank you, Patricia, for coming in and answering the questions for us. Thank you for having me. It was my pleasure being here. And thank you for visiting our video blog. We look forward to seeing you soon.